Hey everybody, it is Dry Fire Monday and another week of quarantine dry fire. So I want us to get better with our handgun and use the time that we have. And I've got a great drill for you today that hopefully will help you this week. And it's one of the biggest things that I see people do that costs them a lot of time on their draw to first shot. The new Mantis X10 firearms performance system has all the goodness of the original, plus holster draw analysis and recoil analysis. It's a fantastic upgrade and I recommend it. I just really want to once again say thank you to Mantis and their incredible team. They have been our literally longest serving sponsor and they have helped us immensely. They've helped me immensely become a better shooter and they have been so supportive and so responsive when we've needed uh, new apps and you know new stuff in their drills and they've done everything we've asked them. Fantastic folks. I can't tell you enough. When you're not out there at the range shooting a whole bunch, the Mantis can really help you and that's why we highlight it every single week in the app. All right, let's talk about this real quick. Okay, so we have an unloaded gun here. We have triple checked. We're safe. Okay, so the thing that I see people do all the time, so they go get the gun out of the holster and then they're going to get the gun and drive it out there and see that. Then once they get the gun out here, now they're going to access their sights and they're going to press the trigger. So what I normally see all the time, and I see this so often is I see people, I'm going to, you know, kind of aim over at one of my targets here is they go this, there's that, and now I've got my target and I do that. And, and even at speed, it goes... So you notice that I hung out here about maybe even a half a second. And the way that we solve that is we prep the trigger. And I know this one is going to be uh, a controversial one, but I want to explain the why behind this so I can tell you why I teach it the way I teach it. So for a new shooter, for somebody who's just learning the rules of firearm safety, and we remember them all the time, they're not just for beginners, they're for us as well. We always keep firearms pointed in a safe direction. In this case, this way, and as well as this back wall here, are block walls and so I have a bulletproof uh, backstop so that's a safe direction nobody over there uh, number two we always keep our finger off the trigger until we've made the decision to fire rule number three we always keep firearms unloaded until they are in use now so what does that mean here when we are teaching new shooters what I teach and I'm just going to show you here so you can see my finger kind of go on the trigger I'll reset it just so it's a good limb but we teach shooters okay fine drive the gun out there see your sights now once I've got all that now I've made the decision to fire put my finger on the trigger and press the trigger that's what we teach new shooters absolutely 100%, but you have to get beyond that as a new shooter and get to the place where you are an intermediate shooter. And an intermediate level shooter starts to make the decision that says there's a difference between that guy right here might become a deadly threat in a hurry. Now, I, if I have decided I need to have a gun in hand, quite frankly, what I'm gonna do is draw my gun and come to a low ready position because I don't wanna point guns at, at people that don't aren't real high likelihood of getting shot right now. I'm saying, show me your hands, See, you know, put, put that down, stay away from me, something like that. So I don't have to do that from up here on target. I can do that from a low ready position or from a compressed ready position. I can do both of those. But if I've made the decision, if somebody says, oh no, that guy has got a gun or that guy is killing people and he's a threat to me, so I'm going to shoot him, then I've made the decision to fire. And I can put my finger on the trigger when I have made the decision and my sights are on the target. So <clears throat> we can prep that trigger when the gun comes out and say, now I have it, got it, and let it go so that I don't have this sit, boing. Instead, what I have is, get him, got it, go. And I prep and send that out there. Now, what does that look like and how do we work on that? Well, we micro drill. We set this here, we get our gun set. So how are we gonna get that gun out? So we're just not even gonna worry about the holster for now. In fact, I don't even have my holster on right now because I don't wanna get back in the holster. I specifically took it off for this video so that I wasn't coming out of the holster because I don't want you to start in the holster on this one. Instead, when we come out of the holster, what we do then is we put our hands together. Where do we put our hands together? Again, we do that if we're happy and we know it, clap our hands. Okay, fine. So the gun comes out of the holster. That could be coming out of the holster strong side as well. When my hands come together, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, okay, now once I have touched my index finger here, second knuckle my index finger on the inside here, great, got that. Now my gun, I come just a tiny bit, not all, not way up here at Charlie's Angels, but just a little bit front sight proud. That's Scott Jedlinski's kind of ideal when we get started on this. I crash my support hand in. Now as I'm driving the gun forward, I'm prepping my trigger and finishing my grip. 
prep my trigger, finish my grip. As soon as I see my sight on the target, I press the shot. Now you notice I did that quite slowly. I didn't have to go quickly. I'm gonna build it correctly so that I get the right feel for it, drop it as fast as I can see because the grip is the master, sight set the pace, trigger is the servant. So I've got my hand here. This is where I'm gonna start. Gonna start nice and high like I normally wanna do. I'm not gonna hunch up. I'm not doing a tactical turtle or anything like that. So I'm standing here, got this, settled the way that I want it. Great, okay, so as I, as I get rid of my cover garment, Judy chop front sights a little bit proud, gonna drop that as it goes, prep the trigger, got it, as soon as I see my sights, and see an acceptable sight picture. So as soon as my front sight drops into the notch on my rear sight, I go ahead and finish my trigger press. And I don't do that going uh, like that and, and uh, jerk it. No, I'm prepping, I'm sitting here, got this, got it, good, prep, see it, as soon as I see it, and as a red dot shooter that my dot's gonna come and drop from the 12 o'clock position. Got it, see it, reset it, drive, prep, got it. As soon as I got it in the A zone, I let it go. Now, once I'm good at that, I can make that faster. I can see and go, there it is, got it. There it is, see it. There it is, prep, got it. So now that's all I'm doing is I'm coming here, seeing it, Got it. Now, I have to be honest with myself. I cannot cheat this. I have to actually see. Now, so that means when I'm getting going, again, I'm gonna just slow down. Don't have to go quickly, wanna go correctly. Wanna build an efficient pattern. Great, finish the grip, prep the trigger, see the sights as soon as I see my dot where I want it to be, or my front sight dipping into uh, behind the rear sight acceptably, I press the shot off. Got it, yep. Just barely saw my dot, but it was an alpha. Now then, if I move to a smaller target, I'm gonna move over here a little bit. I now have a seven yard three by five card, so a headshot. I have to have a little more refined sight picture. So I'm gonna see my target, there it is, and I press my shot. See my target, press my shot, there it is. Got enough, see my target, prep, got it, okay? Now, I'm actually gonna creep in here, and I hope, I don't know that it's gonna be able to see, but hopefully you can see my hammer here, right? Hopefully you can see, as I'm sitting here, I'm looking there, there's that, see it, and you see my hammer starting to come back as the gun's coming on target. You start to see, there it is, got it, and as soon as I see it, I let it go. So then that way I'm, I'm shooting, not at the speed when I go trigger the gun, but I am see, shooting as fast as I can see. So I'm seeing, got it, building my grip as it goes, got it, Building my grip as it goes, yep, seeing it, so that I am following my mantra of the grip is the master, the sight set the pace, and the trigger is the servant. Okay, so let's use our mantis just a little bit here. I am going to set this up right here just so I can see it sitting on there. Great, there it is. Okay, so now I'm just in the open training app, and what I'm looking for here is I'm actually looking for the yellow to be a straight line down, because what I'm trying to find here is I'm trying to see that I'm presenting my sights in the same place every time. So I'm not coming out here and going, where's the gun? Oh, there it is, and then pressing the trigger after that. What I'm trying to get is, is that with my front sight a tiny bit proud, not way up here, I'm not way up here like this. I am an ever little so bit tiny front sight proud. As I drive the gun out, I'm prepping my trigger and I'm seeing it from the same spot. So let's take a look at a few shots and see what that does for us, okay? is as I'm doing it and I'm not going fast here, there it is, got it. Now, you notice that one, it actually, that last 150 milliseconds pushed left, which is kind of interesting. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Wasn't my best shot. Got it, that moved left too. I saw it moving left because it kind of appeared from the bottom instead of from the top. That's not what I wanted, that's what I wanted right there. Notice that one actually pushed up a little bit. So it's kind of interesting what I'm seeing here in my, in my sight picture right now, what my Mantis is giving me. I'm trying to drive there and see it. Notice that one went down a little bit, which is what I wanted. There it is, dot. Down as well, actually that one came up a little bit as well. Jeez, what am I doing right now? <sighs> Relax, John. Got it, there it was. That was down at least and a little bit right. As soon as I see it there, that last 150 milliseconds, I'm waiting just a touch. There it is, I'm actually pressing up just a little when I wanna actually come down, there it is. So you see, I'm actually working on this today because I could stand to get a little better at this. As soon as I see it, ah, that was a pretty good shot, a little down and right, because I'm trying to move from down in there in that particular environment. You see the blue, I'm actually coming down on the blue. We're seeing that. Oh, I better reset the trigger. Okay, the blue's heading down nicely. It's a little bit with that yellow at the very end. I'm waiting maybe a tenth and I don't have to do that. So you've seen the blue come down nice and well, but maybe I could come a little bit more down and be a little bit more consistent when the trigger's dropping. 
There was a good one. Like that a lot. So you notice that straight down with the blue. Really like that one. So I think this drill will make you a lot faster out of the holster. Again, I'm coming together with my hands. Got everything that I want. Great. Front sight a little bit proud. Feel good. Build the grip. Drive it out. See my sight. Press the shot. That will help you get faster when we start working at speed with the draw to first shot. Hope it helps you.